OK, so now we need to get this forwards and backwards position right. And we're going to use the same technique as before, in which we're going to put two vertical objects in front of the lens, one close to the lens, one further away. You could use like the corner of a, of a door or a edge of a lamppost. It's two vertical objects that are far enough away so there's a good distance be between them. And we're going to set the camera up so that these two lines are directly behind each other. And we're going to turn the camera left and right. And as we look through the, the viewfinder, we should see that one of the, the lines, the one further away, will probably move either out or in. OK, so now we're going to adjust the fore and aft forwards backwards movement. And to do that, we need to get, uh, same as before, we're going to get two vertical objects and we're going to position them in front of the lens, directly running in, in line of sight with the centre of the lens. So we've got one close, one far away. And you can use something like the uh, uh, edge of a door frame or the edge of a building and a, and a lamp post, something that's, uh, that's close to the lens, something far away that you can use for reference. Tilt the camera left and right, and as you do so, you'll find those lines will, particularly the one furthest away, will start to move in or out. And it's simply a matter of releasing the, the tension lever on the top, sliding the camera forwards and back, looking through the viewfinder and rechecking it, and after a couple of goes, you're going to find that, uh, that that's going to stop moving. The difference is only like a millimetre or two, and once you've got that set up, and you find that as you turn the unit left and right, so the lines go to the left edge of the frame, right edge of the frame. If those lines stay static, you know you've got that nodal point spot on. You then lock the, the tension lock down. And there's a, a, a graticule on the bottom there with a series of numbers. And again, like the bottom unit, you just make a note of that value, write it on a piece of paper, store it somewhere, and then you've always got it for reference if ever you need it again.